So here at AgriGold, we have a very unique system of how we identify and characterize our hybrids that we have from a corn perspective, and we call that Field GX. So Field GX has six unique agronomic families where we take genotyping and phenotyping information of what we know about our products and marry that with the best management recommendations for those products. So we identify those families as family A, family B, and most recently we have a new family that we're launching here at Commodity Classic called Field GX Family J. So it's very exciting for us because I think that farmers of today are really managing their crop on a micro level not a macro level. Uh, we're looking at our fertility and our input decisions more critically. The pencil is very sharp, so making sure you manage that product the very best way possible to maximize your ROI is absolutely critical, and I think that's what Field GX really tries to do. There's no doubt, last year we had a very interesting growing season. We had the third hottest and the third driest season in terms of meteorological summer ever on record. So from a fertility management perspective, uh, we actually had incredibly green plants that took up a lot of nutrients late, but maybe didn't capitalize on that in terms of grain and reserves. So I actually think that we have the potential to be going into next year with more nutrient soil reserve than we had in prior year, potentially, um, in terms of what we have taken up within the plant. But that's predicated on leaving that fodder there in the soil to break down and be a benefit to you next year. You know, the things that we have going against us, however, is we've had an incredibly wet winter in uh, lots of parts of the United States. So the wetter as well as the hot conditions that we've had this winter generally leads to more leaching, um, more volatilization depending on the nutrient and what is available. So moving into next season, uh, unfortunately I think growers are going to have to continue to manage at a very strict level uh, because we know input costs are high and we know the stakes are high. Tar spot, I think what we've continued to learn about that disease is it is a uh, making the march. You know, in 2015, we saw five counties in Indiana as really the epicenter of the hurricane. And suddenly now, here we are last season with tar spot everywhere from New York and Pennsylvania to Nebraska and Georgia. So truly some of the things we're learning about tar spot is, number one, the disease can be managed. And it can be managed. I think the strongest two-pronged approach is having a tolerant host and being willing to go out there with the right fungicide at the right time to control the disease. You know, something at AgriGold that we're quite proud of is that we're one of the only corn seed companies to publish an actual tar spot rating in our seed guide about our products. A really strong indicator to growers in tar spot zones who have concerns around is that product going to stand the test of tar spot time in their local area. So that is something that I'm pretty excited about and that I see coming down the pipe uh, from an aggregate perspective.